Highlander 31 RGR by Open Range here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And as the name would imply, there can be only one. There are a lot of very unique features on here, things that other manufacturers just aren't willing to do in extremes they're not willing to go, and that's what defines Open Range every day. The, this is not the lightest toy hauler you'll ever find. It's not the least expensive. It is one of the very coolest, and that's why I put this video together. There's some optional equipment in here. I'm going to try to point out as we go, keep in mind this is kind of educational stock footage. Not every 31 RGR we have is going to be just like this one. So power awnings are not uncommon on toy haulers. LED lit power awnings are. Now, because there is a door side kitchen slide here, having lights at the base of the awning would kind of be self-defeated because you'd lose about five feet of it. So they do put the lights in the tube so you maintain 100% of that. Uh, now, you see giant windows in the door. And that's going to be true of both doors, both in the garage and the living area here. The every window is 80% UV tinted, so we can see through it easily. But we can't see um, into it very easily. You can see how it's pretty much jet black right there. Uh, the underbelly of the living area is fully forced air heated and closed insulated. So the living area would maintain a zero degree rating. You have to understand though, there's a fuel cell on this RV. Uh, you cannot enclose a fuel cell because of the potential buildup of gas fumes, so the garage area is not uh, insulated as heavily. It can't be, and, and really no toy hauler is. That's the trick with the toy hauler. Uh, what I'm showing you here, this is an add-on, the strong arm stabilizer bars. They are absolutely awesome for keeping your RV stable on your campsite. Um, long story short, you can just push on this thing all you want. It's not going to rock anywhere. This has a massive storage compartment right here. And uh, actually, somebody had a chance to look at this before I even had a chance to finish my uh, photo shoot. I said, oh, man, yeah, they didn't even finish off. They didn't even go all the way through with it. And they couldn't because there's a generator on the other side of this. And that's pretty cool. Um, extra large baggage door, too. And notice they are true one-hand doors because they have magnetic holdbacks. They're actually pretty robust. I mean, you got to get pretty friendly with them. We have compression latch doors here, which you can usually just uh, pretend are slam latch doors. There is a slight difference, that being said, it generally really doesn't matter. Beautiful front nose cap on here. Exact same nose cap you're going to see on a Roamer travel trailer, one of the very popular members of the open range family. And what's so cool is all of the open ranges have so many common qualities that if you learn one, you kind of learn them all, you know? So the things I'm telling you on this, by and large, hold true for just about any other open range. Um, the the generator edition is kind of a toy hauler exclusive, and this is sweet. This is a 5500. They don't necessarily need something this big in here, but you're going to be able to run your your bigger air conditioners and stuff like that off this generator and take this thing anywhere, anytime. Now, just like every other open range, this is wide body construction. It's not eight foot wide like a lot of trailers. This is 100 inch wide body. And like just about every other open range, instead of 36 inch deep slides in the living room, this is a 42 inch deep slide. It's six inches bigger. That is a deeper than deep slide, to put it in English. Kind of like a shorter than short bed, only getting more instead of less. That was a terrible example and I need to move on. Fully enclosed uh, docking center down here so you can keep all of your water lines and everything uh, shut away here and uh, you know it's they're just going to be less inclined to get uh, frozen up a little bit. Um, frameless windows on the exteriors to help keep the window seals hidden under the pane plus <laughs> hey buddy they look sweet but the side windows on your slide outs are traditional slider panel windows so they get better airflow side walls of slide outs tend to be more exposed tend to get better airflow so you get both good looks and good performance in the same coach you don't have to decide or settle we're going to take a peek down here at some hardware. This is the kind of stuff most people aren't going to show you. First of all, we have galvanized steel blowout protection covers here. God forbid this big 15 inch radial tire gives up the ghost because you catch a nail on the highway or something. You're going to have a layer of protection before it starts beating into your coach. Um, also, this yellow bracket thing that we're looking at in the middle here, this is an Equiflex suspension system here. It's a rubber shock damp and suspension. So long story short, when you hit those bumps and jumps on the road, it's going to try to absorb all that kinetic energy from the ground level before it gets translated up into the side walls and windows and roof and forward into your vehicle. Um, fuel station. I looked this up and I just blanked on the size of this. I want to say 30 gallons, but I do apologize. It just went blank on me. 
I will have to uh, look that up for you later. But we do have a fuel station here with a nice little emergency cutoff switch, so God forbid things get a little crazy, you can shut that off. You see the ladder is permanently mounted to the exterior of the RV. It can simply basically just ratchets up into place, so you never have to take it off, you just sort of move it into the function position or the travel position. The rear patio party deck on this thing rocks. This thing is sweet. They have a different um, patio wall enclosure from anyone I've ever seen, and really, I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little bit nicer. It, it was not difficult at all to use. The whole thing just swings in or out. It's very simple. It's also up and out of the way for loading. That is cool. Uh, notice, too, that you have your own little shade awning cover back here. This is a very easy manual crank out awning. I've left the handle on there because you just don't have to worry about it. So it's easy to run in or out when you're at your campsite. Long story short, about 30 seconds, crank that thing in or out and you are done. That's all there is to it. Uh, again, big windows and big entry, well, big window in the entry door here. And I, I'm glad the sticker's here because I forgot to mention every single open range carries twice the warranty of just about anything else. That is a big factor with them. They are very proud of how they build things and they, they budget double their money on the longevity of that product. The, um, let's see here. Oh, a unique thing on the construction of this one. It has a laminated floor in the living area. It has a plywood floor in the garage area. And that again is due to the, uh, the whole gas tank enclosure system. So we have upgraded this one a couple ways right here. We have a pull down rear screen wall. Now I really like theirs because it stops wherever you want it. A lot of these other screen walls, like you have to sort of lock them in place and then they might fly up, you know? But this one goes wherever you want it, whenever you want it. We have added the Happy Jack power lift bed back here. So that gives us an extra queen bed whenever we need it. Or, if you're curious and you're feeling froggy, pull this pull this bed mat out of here and use this thing like, like a, a hideaway drawer, like an attic. You can use it for a hundred different purposes. The sofas in this are mounted in the Happy Jack bed system. They can fold down into the bed. I mean, I'll show you here. I don't even have to tell you. It's this easy fold it over into a bed. Now they can both kiss in the middle when you fold them both down so you can have two king bunks basically. Um, or you can just simply fold them up and have twin sofas. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, and that's what's cool about this floor plan. This is one of the most multifaceted RVs you're ever going to see. You can use it like a normal travel trailer, like a normal toy hauler. You can use it like a park model with a built-in screened-in patio three seasons room. You can use it like an alternative bunkhouse, a craft room, a man cave. It's washer, dryer, prepped. It can do everything. This thing does everything. Um, here in the garage, this is, by the way, about a 10-foot garage. Um, here in the garage, we have nine of these uh, D-ring tie-downs so you can keep your cargo in place. Notice, too, that we do have a transition flap. When this tailgate is all the way down in the loading position, that's going to cover the gap between the floor and the door. So that if you're running something up here like a bike, you don't have to hit that little jump and accidentally lose your balance. Because that does happen, unfortunately. Uh, let's slide inside here real quick, show you a couple fun things. Look at how high this this uh, rubberized uh, this floor covering is right here. That is so that like your, your kick pedal, your, your pegs and stuff like that don't tear up your sidewalls. It gives you a layer of protection before you go damaging the walls in here. This is 100% LED lighting. Uh, you know, all, you, you have several lights here on the same switch, and that's a big thing in an open range. You push one button and all the lights in one room light up. I love that. Now, you see that every single open range is double AC ducted, but what's more is it's actually racetrack ducted. It loops around at the end, so your air constantly circulates. I mention that because that's not how almost any other RV is built. They might be H-ducted where they just go down and stop. The problem is here at the endpoints you build up air pressure because it's just encapsulated. Once you pressurize a capsule the air can't go in. It's just logic. Well that air starts to back up and back up and back up and eventually it hits a point where it can no longer effectively reach these. So your front bedroom, your rear bunkhouse area here, depending on how you're using it obviously, cannot get good airflow. This one you can. And I mean, they just, every ounce of storage they can put in here. And this thing, man, it just really jumps out at you. I love it. I like how it sticks out. This is sweet. This is, uh, you see how the whole door swings out? Well, this thing also slides open. So you can have a sliding patio door right here, or you can have, uh, you can flip it open out of the way and just have 
a very wide open flowing pass-through door into your big living room right here. So you've got bigger doors, you have a wider body, you have a deeper slide out, you have a massive coach. That kind of leads me to the next point. This is not lightweight. I, I don't want to confuse anybody. By the way, once again, walk in, bam, light switches and everything comes alive. This is not lightweight. This is in the 9,000 pound range, I believe. Um, this is a three quarter ton tower. Or if you have a permanent site in mind, give us a call. We will deliver it to your site. This is not a half ton tower, especially if you go putting in a couple ATVs or dressers or like a razor or something like that. You just, this is not made for that. This is not the smallest guy. It's made to be big, it's made to be bad, it's awesome. That's who this is. So we've got the, the full on party couch going on here. And as you can see, you can have uh, two of these individual dining tables here. Now, if you put a couple extra chairs in front, you can sit down with a couple, play some cards. Both sides of the dinette have these full extension drawers right here. You can see how easy it is to get in those and out of those. And they do lock for transit, by the way. Now, what's cool, because this slide is so extra deep, these pedestal tables are mounted in the slide out, not in the main living room floor. So if you forget to take those down in transit and you go to run the slide out in, you're not gonna crush those things. You're not gonna wreck your slide out. You're not gonna wreck your floor. This is as close to idiot proof as they can come. Awesome, awesome, awesome island in every open range, or kitchen rather, in every open range. They have the best kitchens. And that's a big statement. There's a lot of good RVs out there. A lot of good RVs. The kitchens in an open range, kill everything I've ever seen on the market. So we've got an eight cubic foot fridge that we've upgraded here. Standard would be a six. So we've upgraded to a 33% larger refrigerator. That is what we will commonly do. I've never seen us carry an open range otherwise. I can't tell you it's a guaranteed thing though because it is technically an option. Notice that up here for ambient light, if you are dry camping, they offer you an extra skylight. Now we, uh, you're also getting a max air fan here in the kitchen. So if you're cooking up a storm, and you're just you're cooking yourself to death and the the hood is not quite keeping up or you just want airflow from the the windows crank that thing on and you're gonna get a six mile an hour breeze rolling through here that's a lot the uh, the island is pure unadulterated awesome storage they actually give you a trash can spot there with the trash can um, the sink is a resin top it's a sealed countertop so you don't have to worry about water seeping into the edges and causing swelling and, and sponging. Now you have matching resin top, countertop, sink covers here. So this is all flush one level and they are solid. You can pound on those things. You can use, that's legitimate countertop space. It's not one of those flimsy white sink covers that frankly doesn't do you any good. Now uh, here, there's so much storage. I got to close one to open the other. But this is what I love about open range. It's the intelligent designs here. You don't have to get down on a knee and dig all the way up to your shoulder blade to get to the back storage because the storage comes to you. And you also have big storage space right down here. These are your blackout window covers for the garage, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Long story short, if you're loading something that has wide handlebars, you don't want big valences here. You're going to rip off with your handlebars. So these little snaps go on and you can black out the sun and have 100% privacy in here if you are so inclined. We will almost always, almost always, upgrade to a 15,000 BTU air instead of a 13.5 just for that extra cooling power. Um, Furion high def flat screen is included. We have simply removed that for uh, storage purposes while this unit is out on uh, for sale on our site. But I do want to point out at open range, they do take the time to actually run the HDMI cable. This means you can actually get high def TV, not just have a high def capable TV that does not have the high def cables run. You have to have both to get that service. 100% Furion electronics and just like the TV, this is made to be um, shaken harder. This is made to be hotter, colder. This is better quality electronics than you even have in your house. It's AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, even as a microphone, you can literally take hands-free calls through your camper's stereo. That's the level of product that we're looking at today. Once again, light switches for living room, done. That's it. Uh, this has one of the sweetest bathrooms I've ever seen in a travel trailer toy hauler. Tell me another travel trailer toy hauler that has a 50 inch walk-in shower with a uh, glass wall enclosure. And especially one that has this kind of headroom in here. You know, uh, I mean, this, this thing's made big. It's made awesome. It is supreme in its class. There just aren't other RVs that do this kind of stuff. We have great storage over here. Porcelain stool with tons of leg room. You are never going to worry about you know, getting a leg cramp from doing bathroom yoga here. Oh, I got some awesome grease on my shoe. Cool. Oh, well, whatever. Um, you know, extra space for like toilet paper storage or, you know, tank chemicals in here. 
everything is an ounce above anything you've ever seen before. Extra vanities for extra storage. You know, everything you could imagine they have in here. Plus, we still have a sliding uh, pocket door here for privacy in the bedroom. Once again, walk in, there's a light switch right at your hips, right where you expect them to be, and bang, that's all there is to it. Because this coach is wide body, we get extra wide storage cabinets on each side of the bed. That means we also get bigger um, uh, side tables on each side of the bed. And if you notice, if you look under there, there are power outlets for CPAP machines and cell phones and charging. This is a true walk around queen bed. Queen sheets actually fit this. And there's easy access to under uh, bed storage under here. Uh, you can see that extra table I put down here um, just to show you how large that is, just to give you a sense of scope and scale. Like I said, this is one of the, well, here, I almost forgot. Even the TV antenna is better. That is an aftermarket upgrade antenna that open range does standard on their RVs. It gets longer range, it gets clearer signal. It's better. Everything on this is better. It's not going to be the cheapest RV you've ever seen. It's going to be an open range. And that means that this is, you know, far above, beyond, in a way, anything else you've ever seen in a toy hauler. So like I said, it's a Highlander, and there can be only one. And it's here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, 800-256-5196. Take care, stay safe, have fun, everybody. You have a good time.